The greatest form of our knowledge is knowing yourself. And knowing yourself starts with knowing your thoughts. As thoughts has an incredible power to change your own life and lives of the people around you. Because your thoughts and interpretations of circumstances has a great influence on your beliefs and ultimately on your actions. Life is not a linear equation and nothing is guaranteed in life. Now, every single one of us within a room might have visited a garden or a park full of flowers sometime in life and would have stopped at a place where you would have found something unique or an eye correct? With this, I was just wondering, how many of us would have even thought to walk in a garden of our brains? That's pretty interesting as thoughts keeps on budding and we get hold of our thoughts that serves a purpose. But how do we come to know that it does serve a purpose? Maybe we we'll try to filter it out with pragmatism. Quality of our thoughts determines quality of our life. And nothing is more incredible and indigenous than a thought process. With this, my, I strongly believe power of voice is expressed through power of communication. You are in your sight. Karthik Dokai, communicating power of my voice to serve a purpose. As our purpose expands our personality. And I am here to deliver my best. Now, let me walk you through the puzzle. So, I would be trying a quadrant for you guys. So, we would be having a quadrant. So, I would be dividing quadrants into equal pieces. But, maybe with some different method. So, we have four quadrant with us. Obviously, we would not be dividing this white space, but the remaining white space of the quadrant. So, we have quadrant A, quadrant B, quadrant C, and quadrant D. So, we would be dividing quadrant A white space into two equal pieces. Now, we would be dividing quadrant B white space into three equal pieces. Now, we would be dividing quadrant C white space into four equal pieces. That's one, two, three, and four. And we would be dividing quadrant D white space into seven equal pieces. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Was it really that tough? No. But the one who haven't got the answer is just that your mind was conditioned in such a way to seek a complex solution. Most of the times, our mind get conditioned in such a way and due to the circumstances, we cannot see the obvious. We assume that things are so complicated and due to which we get entrapped in the ghost of our thoughts. We carry the same syndrome and due to which we make things complicated. The reason for sharing this is just that the past two years of the pandemic was nothing less than a roller coaster ride for every single one of us. There are people who have thrived. There are people who have survived. There are people who have struggled. And unfortunately, there are people who have quit. Fortunately, I was not much impacted on a personal note, but I was really very shocked when I came to know that two of my friends committed suicide. And this pushed me to do some research around it. While I was doing some research, I came across the statistics, which was an eye-opener to me. Because students topped the list with 21.2%, followed with business professionals and self-right person with 16.5%. And this was an eye-opener to me because, unfortunately, these are the people amongst the educated chunks. Thanks to Indian Express for sharing the percentage. This pushed me to think about a mental health where we guys are not allowed to talk, be it in our education systems, nor in our corporates. And I feel this is where 
we guys are lacking as a nation because talking about a mental health and a reason for a depression is still a taboo in our society and if someone from us would start or would share their mental problems or a reason for a depression then in that case people in their surroundings including their friends the relatives and in some cases their immediate family members would start calling them pagal and due to which one would think to quit the life and rather than fighting back and getting back to normal can we as a society as a nation create a culture where people are not evaluated when they are seeking in help while dealing with a depression or when they are trying to share the reason for a depression with this i would love to share an example of two great cricketers of modern era that's glen maxwell from australia and ben stokes from england these are the two people who took sabbatical for their mental wellbeing and the decisions were supported by their management and they were welcome back with an open arms we are a wholesome package we can't be labeled by few actions we fail and we grow and the more you talk to yourself the chances of getting clarity are much higher one should never forget that in life nothing remains unchanged and everything evolves to transformation we must learn to evaluate every situation every moment with correct amount of modesty if you are living a moment of a success redimension your enthusiasm if you are waiting for development be patient everything renews itself if you work on your weaknesses with this i would love to share in five steps which help me to get me out of depression yes you heard it correct even i was dealing with a depression few months back due to some personal setbacks but with the help of my family members and the five steps which helped me to get me out of depression first step set up an accountability mirror it's time to come eyeball to eyeball within yourself it's time to be raw and real it's time to connect with yourself you shouldn't bluff it you should jot down every self improvement points on its own note second getting used to discomfort we often get discomfort when there is a chance of failure but getting used to discomfort will help you to develop a can do dialogue within yourself and which will help you when you are dealing with a stressful situation this pandemic actually helped me to develop a can do dialogue within myself and which actually help to turn my weaknesses to strength third visualize success we human beings tend to get around 2k to 3k thoughts every hour per day but we focus only on the things which we can't control rather than focusing on the things which we can we cannot visualize everything under the sky but if we get into the process of strategic visualization ahead of the time we can prepare ourselves as much as we can but remember we cannot visualize lies and visualizations cannot compensate the work undone fourth stock your cookie jar cookie jar is nothing but it's all about revisiting your achievements it's not only about revisiting your achievements but it's also about revisiting the obstacles and the hurdles which you came across while you were dealing and while you were striving to achieve something but still you get managed to get succeed in life this how stocking a cookie jar will help you to take a control of your own thought process because it's time to remember how bad as you were and you are and this will help you to re-energize yourself and utilize the same energy to get succeed in the heat of the battle five empowerment of failure we never celebrates our failure but the fact of the matter is failures are the only one which will help you to grow and succeed in life and which will help you to uplift yourself and take you to the next level but the reason is and the bottom line is we should never fail for the same reason again and again whenever you are trying to attempt something new right in that case make sure that you jot down all your failures and if you are not jotting down your failures in that case you would not be able to improvise yourself but it the jotting down would only will not help you out because the reason is once you start jotting down your failures you need to revisit your failures and once you start revisiting your failures fix those failures before you attempt something new and you make sure that you, the failures are fixed when you're trying to attempt something new maybe by yourself or maybe by taking help of someone else 
there is an infinite potential which is hidden within you and is sleeping. Why? Because the reason is success is compared with someone else and it's untapped. If success compared within self, in that case, it resonates in achievement. Human beings are created to create and designed to design. So tap the infinite potential which is hidden within you in a form of a goal. Dominate your thought process. Life is all a mind game. Realize that and own it. Thank you.